This is Meeker, Colorado. Is this not just the most serene and awesome and beautiful way to wake up every morning? So ever since 2007, Tanya and I have dreamed of living in Colorado. We had stayed in Colorado Springs and we felt like Colorado Springs would be the perfect spot for us. Once we started this full-time RV living, there weren't any family in Colorado Springs and prices were pretty expensive. But here in Meeker, I have a sister. It's a small town, but it's a very charming town and the RV park, there's only 10 spots in this RV park, but it has hiking trails that lead right down to this. This is pretty much in the RV park. Is this not amazing? I love it. Daisy and I have gotten to come down here at least once a day, if not more times, to check out the river, and she loves getting in there and drinking the water. I mean, this is melted snow. How awesome is that? The RV park is $400 for a month. It was, I think, $210 for a week and $40 a night. And I'm like doing all the numbers and I'm like, I'll pay 400 for the month. Even though I couldn't be here for the full month, the spot was still mine. And there's no additional electric charges on that either. So we've had an awesome time here in Meeker. It's given us a lot of opportunities. My brother-in-law works for a ranch that has a lot of horses and my brother-in-law and sister own a lot of horses. That gave us the opportunity to go try out riding on the horses. Kira didn't like it so much but Kaylin took to it like a natural. We were very proud of both of them for even getting up there on the horses. I know Kira was real scared, but she did it. I'm proud of both of you girls. It's a fun game for them. They ran away from the running horse. Cheeseburgers. Hi. Hello. She just wants to get a picture. Another thing that's really awesome here in Meeker is that they have a rec center. Inside the rec center is a really nice gym, awesome life fitness exercise equipment. And then they have one of the biggest indoor pool things we've ever been exposed to. It had water slide, lazy river, really nice hot tub. I wouldn't say Olympic size pool, Olympic length pool. I think it was four lanes across, had a diving board, had rock climbing walls you'd climb up and fall down. They had so much stuff we could use. They had pool noodles for us to use. Kira loved their life jackets. They had flippers. That was really neat. For The whole family got to try out flippers and see how that worked. The pool goes up to 12 feet deep. I have a fear of swimming over deep water. One of the neat things we got to do in my drive to overcome that fear of swimming over deep water, my girls saw me going out there and so they wanted to do it too. And they 
took to it so well. They did great swimming over the 12 foot deep water. I was so proud of them. I've been proud of my girls this whole trip. This has been a, a proud moment for us parents. And one of the real big learning things that we had to acclimate to in Meeker is there's like no chain businesses here. Okay, there's two, Family Dollar and Napa Auto Parts. Everything else is individually owned, locally owned. So you are forced, if you're gonna go out to eat, you have to eat at a locally owned restaurant. Some people might not like that too much, but I'm telling you, the food here in Meeker is great. Clark's. Clark's is kind of like a Dairy Queen, but it's their own local version. And you can get hamburgers, cheeseburgers. They can even make it with elk meat because this is one of the largest elk herd in the United States, over 30,000 elk. You can go to Clark's and get yourself an elk burger. They also had Ma Familia. I think I said that right, Italian restaurant. We got to meet the owners. They work right in there, really nice. Awesome calzones and lasagna. Lots of great food. Mexican house restaurant. I'm telling you, the people that work there, they're from Mexico and they made some really good food. It may not be the kind of Mexican we're used to in San Antonio, Texas, but it was still really good food. If you need to go to a Walmart from here, the closest one is 41 miles away in Rifle. And then you could also go to Craig. They've got other chain restaurants and stuff if you need that sort of thing. Yeah, there's gonna be some things that you will find that you don't have here that you may need to drive out of town for. Thankfully, when I had a problem with our black tank, the Ace Hardware here has an RV section and they actually had a replacement black tank valve. And the great customer service there too. Hello. Something else that I learned while I was here that I've never known about. You may be watching this and say, how did you not know about that? But I've never needed to use it. And that's general delivery at the post office. So we needed to order some things from Amazon, but this RV park, it doesn't even have the option. There's no address that I can send it to to even get delivered to me. So what we did was you find the address of the post office. You can look it online and the, each post office website will tell you if they will honor general delivery, and this one did. So with Amazon, I put our name, general delivery, and then the address of the post office. The post office will hold on to your item for 30 days. You just go in and show your official ID, they validate it's you, and then they give you the package. They're prepared for it, so if you need to use that while you're out on the road, you can. So when we first got here, our neighbors are also living in their RV. The wife is a travel nurse. Dad's staying at home, homeschooling the kids. No, I'm not talking about nursing our travel bug. These people actually don't have a YouTube channel, but they do watch YouTube. Thanks, y'all. So we really appreciated that, but they actually taught us some other cool factors too. Meeker is a great hopping off point to a lot of the big attractions, both in Utah and Wyoming. So while they were here and they got some time off, they found some decent hotels. They could leave their big rig here at this RV park, go stay three nights over by Arches National Park or up to the Grand Tetons and stay at a hotel there. They could pull the RV there if they wanted to as well, but then just kind of used Meeker as like the home point while their mom was working at the hospital here. I felt like I learned something from them I mean, I kind of had an idea you could do that, but didn't quite realize that this was such a good spot to go to all those national parks. I really wanted to get in this water and swim, but I was afraid it'd be too cold. This would be great for tubing though. There's a park just down the street called Town Park, and you can get in the river there and tube down to here, but I hear it only lasts like a, maybe a 10 minute ride. I guess this is where RVs go to die. They become cabins in the mountains.
So are y'all doing the tango or what what do you call that dance? Yeah. <laughs>